What is up, Facebook? How are you guys doing? And welcome to another Backyard and Beyond. I'm your host, Chef John, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys out here on the Rec Tech deck. That's right. We're here at the worldwide headquarters of Rec Tech in beautiful Evans, Georgia. Well, it is Meat Madness Week all week long here, guys. What does that mean? That means if it swims, crawls, walks, we're going to cook it up for y'all and bring y'all the very best of those recipes. So, keeping that in mind, I have an awesome recipe for you guys today. I'm doing a beef ragu. Mmm, mmm, delicious. That's right. Couldn't be any easier. I'm going to be cooking on the RT340. I got it right behind me. And the bullseye, that's right. Excellent. We're cooking with those Kingsford signature pellets. Shout out to you, Kingsford, for making such a reliable fuel source. That one is... Uh, made by made for by pellet masters for pellet masters that's exactly right all right but as always i got my good man jordan johnson on the ones of the twos what you? put all your comments questions and concerns in the comment section and he'll be reading those out shout out to sherpa behind the camera thank you so much sherpa for getting in there all right let's get into this uh recipe real quick so these are the ingredients we're going to be using i've got some uh cubed chuck roast right Chuck roast is going to be really good for this recipe. We got some kale. I got some cherry tomatoes, some sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of tomato, uh, crushed tomato products. We got some thyme, some rosemary, a little bit of flour. We have some onions, and then I'm going to be using some uh, red wine. You can use whatever red wine you'd like. We're going to be using that Colden's Freaking Greek and that often imitated, never duplicated, Ben's heifer dust. That's right. So, Jordan. Yeah. You have a good week so far, or last week, this weekend, what'd you do? Oh man, I just sat back, relaxed, enjoyed my time off. You know what it is. You, that's what you did? You know what it is, that's just, what I did. Just enjoy What'd you do? Uh, I cleaned up my house. Oh, yeah? I am gonna foster a cat, I think. Oh. Yeah, I'm stepping it up. One of, the, one of our uh, fellow colleagues that we work with uh, had a cat that needed fostering. So, you know, I stepped up, Jordan. I love it. Because I'm an animal lover. You are, I'm you are, and animals tend to love you as well. That's right. Uh, before we get started today, John, yes. you said we're doing a braised beef ragu. Yes. Tell the fine people out there what exactly a ragu is, because it's not just a pasta brand. Well, I know you have some awesome ragu facts, Jordan. Well, why, don't you you know you read, why don't you read off the ragu facts? All right, well, folks, people. if you don't know what a ragu is, it's not just a brand of pasta sauce. No. It's an Italian meat-based <laughs> sauce. That's right. Commonly served with pasta. It totally is. But today, we're you're going to do a little up. change, we're right? We're mixing it up a little bit. That's right. I'm going to be serving it with rice today. Oh, instead of pasta, we're doing rice. That's right. Fantastic. All right. So you're going to need a big bowl. Guys, if you haven't gone to Amazon and picked up some big stainless steel bowls, just go ahead and do it. You use them for everything. Everything. All right. So I'm going to throw on one of our handy dandy black nitrile gloves. We're going to go ahead and put our chopped <coughs> chuck in here. Now, if you guys wanted to get a whole chuck roast, you totally could do that and chop it up yourself. That's totally acceptable and probably going to be a little bit cheaper if you do that. But you want to make sure that it's in really large chunks like that because it's going to start to cook down. So to that, we're going to hit it with a little bit of olive oil, right? To that, we're going to add some of that Ben's heifer dust. Mm. So easy. That is the beef rub right there. That's right. You can find this at rectech.com along with all of our other sauces and rubs now jordan we Yo. have a giveaway that we're going to be doing later so you bet i don't i want to let everybody know you're going to want to stay tuned till the end because we're going to be giving something away and not only that we'll be announcing the winner from last week's giveaway as well that's right all right so we're just going to give these a toss right in that heifer dust getting everything well acquainted right now i have the bullseye set to 500 degrees i turned it on about 45 minutes ago and put my cast iron inside of it so we're gonna go ahead and grab that cast iron out Note, folks, that cast iron is incredibly hot. Chef John is taking it out of the grill. Yeah, it's super hot. It's real, real hot, but that's how you want it, okay? So, af as that stuff starts to marry in there, right, that Ben's heifer dust, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of flour right over the top. That's gonna help everything to brown. So now we're just gonna mix this flour in, right? Making sure it's all over that meat, nice and tacky. And then we're just going to place the meat on the cast iron. And you can already hear it starting to sizzle because that thing is hot, hot, hot. But that's how you want it. It's going to be a one pan dish. So we're just really trying to brown this meat up, right? So we're going to push it in here. We're going to add a little bit of oil. 
Somebody said it must be nice out here today. You busted out the shorts, baby. Oh, you know it, baby. It's beautiful out here. Spring has sprung in Augusta, Georgia, guys, in Evans, Georgia. It's beautiful, 72 degrees today. That's your motto, skies out, thighs out. Skies out, thighs out. You know it. Jordan Johnson. Yes, sir. So I know that we're not cooking on the RT590 today. No. However, uh, a hot commodity online has been the RT590 covers. That's but right. they've been out of stock. Yes, sir. Are they back in stock? Yes, sir. They totally, totally what? are. And guys, if you want to know about new products and when they're going to be stocked up and what, when we're going to be uh, at new locations, all you got to do is go to rectech.com, scroll to the bottom of any of those pages, sign up to become an insider. All you got to do is put your email address in there. It takes like 15 seconds. Put your email address in there, sign up to become an insider, and you too could find out all the insider information. Mm. All right, so as that meat starts to brown, we're going to go ahead and get our other ingredients ready. I've already gone ahead and julienned uh, a white onion. We're going to take these cherry tomatoes, and we're just going to cut them on the bias, right? Now, you probably ask yourself, Chef John, why are you cutting them on the bias? Like, what's up with that? So when you cut them on a bias, they don't have a tendency to roll around on a plate. So that's why when you go to like a fancy restaurant and everything's cut in kind of like crazy shapes, that's why they do it, so that it doesn't roll around. If you just cut it in half, right, that's still going to roll. No, that's not good. That's not what we want. So we're going to cut it on the bias, right? Perfect. I've got a few already cut up. Add those to those. I've got some kale. Beautiful, beautiful kale. Jordan Johnson, you got a question? Yeah, Michael Bryan Key Jr. wants to know, can you define julienne for the audience? All right, so I wish I had another onion out here. I would julienne one for you. But uh, let's say this is uh, this lime right here is a whole onion, right? Okay. So to julienne an onion, you're going to cut it. So this is the north. We'll say this is the north end of the onion. This is the south end, both of the points of the onion. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it from north to south, right? And we're going to left with a half. And then julienning is just slicing that half in half into small slices. You get these little small ribbed pieces. That's a julienne cut. And you could do that with anything. Look at that. It's just a small, thin slice. That's all a julienne is. It's a fancy name for that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to take our kale. That's a great question, though. And we're just going to rough chop this kale. This is a real rustic dish. It's super easy. You don't have to overthink it. All right, and then into the bowl that goes. Looking fresh. So fresh. It's going to be super healthy too, Jordan. No, All right, we're going to come back in to check out our meat. We're going to go ahead and start to turn it. You can see, oh, yes. It's starting to brown up really nice. And smells just incredible. Right? And that's we're just getting started, Jordan. We are just getting started. So we're just going to roll the meat over. This is probably the most technical part of the cook right here, getting all this meat flipped. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a sear kit down on the bullseye. Go ahead and get it crunk up to riot mode, and then take that full chuck roast, season it, and just sear the whole thing, and then cut it up. You could totally do that. It would save yeah. you a step. All right. Totally would save you a step. All right, but that is just cooking along, right? So we're going to give it a couple more minutes, and we're going to let uh, the other side of that meat brown up a little bit. Jordan, you got any great questions? Man, everybody out there is just super excited to see what we're doing here today. They're super excited for meat madness, but uh, boy, oh boy, I got to tell you, John. Yeah. I'm going to need these people to smash it. That's right. Three, two, one, smash it. Go Come ahead. on, guys. Share, share this button. video all over the net. That's how I get paid by the shares. So if you want to keep seeing amazing content like this, especially from your boy, Chef John, Help me help you. Smash that share button. We need all the shares. We need all the shares. Yes, Jordan. We are not cooking on riot mode today, correct? No. It's all at 500 degrees, okay. right? Uh, there's a tendency with cast iron, right, to when you put it on there early and you're cooking on riot mode, that cast iron is going to get real, real hot because that grill is going to get upwards of 750, 800 degrees. So I like to keep it at 500. It's a manageable temperature for that cast iron, especially when you're going to let it heat up over a course of time, like 45 minutes. You so know? you want it to be hot, but you don't want to overdo it. Right, because you, it, uh, cast iron has a tendency when it gets real hot like that and you add any type of oil to it, it will catch on fire. Mm -hmm. So you want to be avoid that, Right. totally avoid that. Fire bad. Fire bad, fire bad. Went into cast iron, in the grill, right. fire good. Right. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out. And we're going to go ahead and add the next step. So in the onions go. It's about to get fragrant in here, y'all. It's about to get fragrant, right? 
We're going to start to get, let these brown up. The kale's going to go in now too. We're going to let this start to cook down. Oh yeah. And you can see that cast iron holds that temperature. You can hear everything sizzling. I have it off the grill and it's still cooking. That's how you know it's going to be good. All right, tomatoes in. Beautiful. Now we're going to season it with a little bit of that Colden's freaking Greek. Mm. Often imitated, never duplicated. Incredible Mediterranean herbaceous rub. So good, Jordan. We're going to add a little bit more oil to this. And then back on the grill, it's going to go. Okay, okay. Now, John, we did have a question about the uh, theme of this week. Yes, sir. It is Meat Madness. Why are, do you know why we're calling it Meat Madness this Be week? Because we're going ham on some meat, you guys. That's right. Like, we want to bring you guys the very best, delicious meat recipes. I and mean, that's just what we want to do. With all the basketball going on in college sports right now, you know, we March are taking, madness, taking meat that. Madness. Come on, I know y'all put it together. On Instagram, John, uh, for the last several days, uh, our audience right. has been casting their votes they to sure build the ultimate meal. Ultimate meal. So Fun Day Friday, we're actually going to reveal that to them, the we, winners of those brackets. We really are. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. You guys have been doing a great job picking and choosing, voting on all of that food. Shout out to you, Madeline and Dudley. Dudley's at the vet. And Aww. Madeline's the one who set all that stuff up. So shout out to you, Madeline. And we hope Dudley's doing great at the vet. He's the all best. Right, Jordan. Yo. Let's talk about these amazing grills real quick, man. Why not? All right, so guys, if you go to rectech.com right now, you will see some awesome promos that we have going on. $6.99 right now will get you an RT340, my favorite grill. Man, this thing is absolutely amazing. 20 pound hopper, PID Wi-Fi controller, so portable. Uh, it's got the same stainless steel and internal components as our 700 and the RT590. This thing is absolutely amazing. So $6.99 right now, you get this grill plus 220 pounds of all American hardwood pellets. It's absolutely great. While supplies last, plus, Right now we have a 220 pound pellet with any purchase of a grill for $149. Mm. I'm telling you, and the deals just don't stop there. What? Go on over to rectech.com right now. Yeah. And you can see we have $100 off that wild side. Say what? I'm telling you right now, if you haven't been over there, check it out. Go check it out. And while you're there, go check out that amazing new recipe section that we've got hooked up, especially for you guys. It's packed full of amazing, amazing recipes. And Jordan, speaking of amazing recipes. Yes, sir. Don't we have a new cookbook out? Uh, you bet we do. We have a new cookbook. It's it, what, volume two? It is volume one, second edition. Second edition two, that's now, right. Now, if you guys stick around, mm. we just might be giving one of those away today. Ooh, that Bitburger is absolutely delicious. Shout out to you, Bitburger. Mm, this is a great drink. They do make a delicious libation. Absolutely delicious. All right, let's get back in this grill and go ahead and give these uh, veggies a toss. Uh, that's looking great. You can see it all starting to break down. It's exactly what we want. Could you do this in the Matador? You could do this in any of our grills, Jordan, but certainly you could do it in the Matador too, right? All right, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and add our sprig of rosemary and a sprig of thyme. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of red wine. Such a fragrant dish, such a beautiful dish, easy to make. Right. The Rectech really does all the work for you. All the work for you. A little bit of garlic paste. That looks delicious. Now guys, if you want this recipe or any of the recipes you see us do on any of our live shows, all you gotta do is go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break, put your information in, and we will email you this recipe plus so many more. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more Coldens because I can see that it needs some seasoning. It's talking to me right now. So we're gonna hit it with the Coldens. Can't go wrong with a little bit of seasoning. No. Because that cast iron was hot, some of that red wine has already started to evaporate. So we're gonna add the tomato product. Ooh, yeah, Jordan, it's starting to get nice, my friend. It's starting to get nice. We're gonna mix the tomato product in. Right? Now comes the beef stock. Now this is the key right here, guys. So we're gonna put about 
two cups of beef stock in here, but as this cooks, the beef stock is going to reduce. So you're gonna want about six cups of liquid total, because as this starts to reduce, you're gonna wanna add a little bit of beef stock to it so you can keep the viscosity right where you want it at. It's a that's, great, the, that's the thickness level. It's a great word. Yeah. All right, so that is looking absolutely perfect. So we're just gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and crank the grill down to 350 and we're gonna let this thing simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour and you'll know when it's done because that, that uh, steak is gonna be nice and tender and delicious. Jordan, you got a question? I sure do, top fan, Crystal Fields Klein. Hey, she Crystal. wants to know, what's the best thing to clean the outside of a Rectech with? The best thing, okay, well first of all, let's kind of talk about cleaning the outside of your grill. I really, unless it's pollen season like it is now, I don't really clean the outside of my grill, you know? I'll knock the pollen off of it, but all of those stains are badges of honor. I, I think, think so too. I feel like, you know? But if you're one of those people who like to keep your stuff pristine, I totally, totally understand. I like any kind of stainless steel cleaner uh, for, the, for the outside of my grill. We'll get it absolutely spotless. Barkeeper's Friend is a really good one too. Uh, and you can pick those up at Walmart, Amazon. Uh, but yeah, stainless steel cleaner. That's what you're looking for, That's Crystal right. Steel Kleins. That's right. I think we told you that at Academy Crystal. I'm pretty sure we did. I hope you were paying attention and took well, some notes. You know, the bar is open a while Ooh. at Academy, so you. Yeah, it is. And speaking of Academy, Jordan. Yep. That's going down this weekend, right? Say what? Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this weekend, guys. We have the March Academy 2021. It is going to be absolutely awesome. Sold out. But people are coming from all over the country. I mean, it's going to be great. I am super excited to have everybody. It's always a good time learning the experience. Jordan, you got another great question. I sure do. Uh, they want to know, Vince Smitka, what type of tomato product did you use today? Was it paste or sauce? What okay, was so I used cr uh, can crushed uh, San Mazzano, Mazzano uh, crushed tomatoes. Okay. That's what I used. So right. any kind of crushed tomato product. Uh, paste you want to watch out for. Don't use tomato paste because it's going to get too thick, right? They're already, gonna, the, as the tomatoes cook, those crushed tomatoes, they're gonna naturally start to thicken up. Paste is gonna make it thicken too quick, but that's a great question. All right, so that's gonna take about, like I said, about 45 minutes to an hour, 350 degrees. We're burning those Kingsford uh, signature pellets by Pitmasters for Pitmasters. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. But, you know I'm not gonna make y'all wait. Y'all know I have one already done, but Jordan. Yo. Is it that time already? It is like less than beep, 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 now beep, it's time. Beep, beep. That's right. It's time for that Dirty Girl 420 moment brought to you by Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. Guys, if you're not following DG Cocktail Mixers on all social media, I don't know what you're doing with your life. They are working hard oh, yeah. to bring y'all some delicious, fun-loving content. That's exactly right. Well, without any further ado, it is time to make that Dirty Girl drink. And today, you know, it's spring outside, so it's time for hashtag drink of spring, guys. Mm -hmm. burr, 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 burr. And the drink of spring is none other than the Dirty Girl Transfusion. Goodness gracious me, absolutely delicious. Let me tell you a little bit about this awesome, amazing drink. Not only is it Augusta's first canned liquor drink, mm -hmm. first one, they're mold breakers, trendsetters. It also is made with some of that local Second City Distillery Vodka, some delicious grape juice, and some of that awesome ginger ale. 12 ounce cans sold in a four pack. Each can contains two drinks, 7% alcohol by volume, no high fructose corn syrup, vegan vegetarian friendly. It is good to go. Look at this awesome can. They've done a great job. Look at that. Those girls pretty, are working hard, pretty, pretty can. hard, hard for you guys. You guys, you can find this wherever you buy your alcohol right now. And if you can't find it, just ask for it because they're trying to deny you guys the good stuff. That's right. All right, so this is how you do this drink. I got some ice in my cup. And all you need to do is pop the top. It's so easy. You fill it up. Glug, 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 Jordan. You know now you it, could friend. drink it straight from the can. You totally could. If it was ice cold, you could totally drink it straight from the can. We're going to go ahead and garnish it with a little lime wheel. I much prefer it this way. Look at that. Boom shaka laka. That's it. Two drinks in a can, guys. Cheers, America. I'll take oh, that other. I'll take that other drink. Man, that's absolutely delicious. 
the perfect amount of vodka, grape juice, and ginger ale. So refreshing for anything you're going to be doing this spring, summer, or fall. Let me tell you, hashtag drink of spring, guys. Go get yourself some of that Dirty Girl transfusion. Mm, 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 mm. Jordan Johnson. I do have a couple questions. Mm -hmm. Gerald Curtis hit you with his question first here. Okay. Do you have to have tickets to get into Rag Tech Fest that's coming up? Or is that going to be open to anyone? I, I'm uh, about 95% sure that it is going to be open to the public. No tickets are necessary for Rec Tech Fest. They have set the date. It is May 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and more details are to come as, right. that, as they are released to us. We will be bringing them straight to you, I promise you. That's right. Uh, Michael Phillips, which grill would you recommend for someone that travels a lot in a camper for easy storage? <laughs> My favorite grill ever, the RT340 right here behind me. Uh, collapsible, foldable legs, runs off of an inverter or a generator. This thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's the travel companion for any RV, for sure. Uh, someone else asked that it, whether he should be waiting to buy the, the wild side or should he take advantage of that $100 off right now? Yeah, take advantage. Why would you wait? Take advantage, my friend. That's what I'm talking about. Go to Rectech dot com right now and pick that thing up it's going to deliver straight to your house you can't beat it free shipping free shipping now we're always it. looking to innovate improve enhance our grills that's but right with that being said with that wild side that hundred dollars off there is no better time no to buy be no better time to buy guys if you're on the fence about buying one of those go ahead and pick them up right now rectech.com or just come on down uh to the warehouse and pick one up yourself we'll load it in the back of your truck and send you on your way yes George last Johnson. question i like it all right uh, give us the differences between the RT340 and the RTB380 bullseye. All right, the bullseye is a more direct flame cooker, right? There's only one piece of metal between the meat and the heat. It's our weekday workhorse. It's great for everything from brats, burgers, uh, chicken, I mean, brisket. You can do any pork butts. You can do anything on this grill. It's absolutely amazing. Now, some of the differences is that the bullseye does not have that Wi-Fi technology, okay? Does not have that. So still, has a PID, still has a PID controller. Yeah. Still has a PID controller, still top of its game. The top of its game for what it is, this is it. Top of its game, PID controller. But the RT340, Wi-Fi connectivity, PID controller, 20 pound hopper, 15 pound hopper, right? Big difference. Same auger motor, same auger motor, same stainless steel. You know, it's made out of the same components. 340 square inches of cooking space, 380 square inches of cooking space. Just pros and cons to just, both. Just pros and cons to both. But absolutely, I this is my favorite grill. You know, this, uh, when I first started working for Rectech, Ray gave me one of these to take home. I absolutely fell in love with the thing. It is great. You can cook on it in the back of your truck with the legs collapsed. Uh, it doesn't get so hot that it will melt anything on the back. It's really, really great. I mean, I love it. Absolutely love it. But that's a great Great question. And Thank a great you answer. So That's right. All right, so let's go ahead. I have one done earlier. We're going to pull it off. Woo, buddy. Check this out, guys. Look at that beef, braised beef ragu. It has turned into this tomato, gelatinousy, beefy, deliciousness right there, my friends. Woo, that's how we're doing it, okay? So we're just gonna set this to the side for a second because I have some winners to announce. Say Jordan. what? I got some winners to announce. Right. That's right. So Let's last week, it. guys, uh, last week we were gonna give away three Backyard and Beyond t-shirts. All you had to do was share the video, comment in the comment section, and like the video. These are the three winners. Boom. First one is Dan Hager. Hey, congratulations, yeah. Dan. Uh, second person is Susan Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Hey, Susan, congratulations. And Anton Lizzie Veronica, congratulations. You're our three winners. All I'm going to need you three people to do is reach out to us, hit us up on our Facebook DMs. We'll verify that it is you, what size shirt you need, and we will get those things shipped out to you ASAP. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, Jordan. It makes you feel so good, so benevolent to give things away. I really just like giving stuff away. I really do. Y'all yeah. love it. I love it. Make so people gonna, happy. Yeah, we're going to keep this train rolling. Let's give something Ooh. else away today. Choo-choo. Well, how about since we've got a brand new edition of our cookbook available online. Okay, I like you where you're going. You give away one of those and a Backyard and Beyond t-shirt. One lucky winner, combo prize pack. I'm down with that. What do you guys think? Do y'all want that? Does that sound good to y'all? A Backyard and Beyond t-shirt. And what else did you say it was, Jordan? A brand a new brand cookbook. A brand new cookbook? Ooh, I like it. 
And if you ask nicely, we may autograph it for you. Ooh. That's how we're going to do it. But what you're going to need to do to enter to win this prize package is share this video, like this video, and go in the comment section and hashtag Dirty Girl Transfusion. Ooh. That's right. Changing hashtag Dirty Girl Transfusion, and you enter to win an exclusive Backyard and Beyond t-shirt and addition to Rec Tech Cookbook. I love it. It's got some great stuff in there, too. You it guys does. are going to love it. All it right. Does. So let's go ahead and finish this bad boy up because I know you guys are dying for me to try this. So this is how we're going to finish this. We're just going to take some. I made some rice. I got some jasmine rice that I cooked earlier. So I got some rice. We're just going to put this down on the plate. Looks delish. Now, John, how do you possibly know that that rice is named jasmine? Uh, well, it told me. I asked, okay. Jordan. You know, all you got to do is ask sometimes. All right. Uh, we're just going to put this delicious beef ragu right over the top. And you were right, man. That thing reduced to... I'm telling you, it got thick. Yeah. The, 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 the thick. The, 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 the thick. But it looks absolutely delicious. All right, let's go ahead and dig in, Jordan. Ooh, yeah. It's going to be piping hot, too, so got to blow on it. What's the verdict? Oh, my God. Let us know what you're tasting, John. Okay, guys. It is smooth. That tomato has cooked down to a, like a smooth paste. The roast has gotten like fall apart tender. You could taste that delicious cold and freaking Greek. You could get the thyme in there, a little sweetness from the rosemary. It is absolutely delicious. Overwhelming with that beef stock and you get a little bit of that red wine flavor. I mean, guys, this could have been any easier and so absolutely delicious. Cheers, America. Look at Ooh. that. My God. Woo! They're absolutely loving it out here, John. I'm going to ask them all mm. out there in TV land mm. one more time to give us a share in three, two, one. Smash it! Uh. That's right, everybody. Man, this couldn't have been any easier, and it was absolutely delicious, guys. Woo! Guys, Make sure you're following Rectech on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live and I would hate for you guys to miss out on some amazing content. Don't forget to head over to Rectech.com. Check out those promos we got going on. If you're on the fence about an RT340 or that wild side, now is the time to pick those things up. We got a whole week of amazing content coming to you this week, guys. It is Meat Week. So tune in. Tomorrow, we're going to be going live on Facebook. That's going to be lunch break at 12 o'clock. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Chef Greg, and I don't think he knows what he's going to be doing yet. So it's going to be, it's up in the air. It's a, it's a mystery to me too. And then Wednesday at 12, the ladies of barbecue are going to be kicking it off at 12 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page. I know they have something absolutely amazing they're going to do. And then at 5 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page, we're doing after hours. Chef Greg, Jody, and myself, everyone's starting to leave the building. We've cracked open a few. We do a meal from start to finish. Definitely want to hang out with us. Thursday, probably our busiest day of content, 12 o'clock on Rectech's YouTube page. We're doing lunch break. Jody's going to be cooking something absolutely amazing. And then 4 o'clock, we do Product Spotlight. That's a chance for us to show you guys more pro about products y'all have asked to see. So definitely tune in. That's at 4 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page. And then 11 o'clock, Jordan, Put you know what time it is. Put to bed. Put them to bed. Parental, uh, parental discretion advised. But ignored. But ignored, that's right. Late night munchies on Rectech's Instagram page with your boy, Chef John. We usually do something sweet off the grill. You're not going to want to miss it. And then fun day Friday, the coup de gras, the culmination of everything meaty and delicious. That's going to kick off at 12 o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page. As we're, decided upon by you, the audience. That's right. This that, week's menu is, is yours. That's right. We're going to be spinning that wheel of Rectech. We're giving away prizes. Definitely come in, hang out, tune in. And that's our week Full of content. John. We also have movie night. Yeah, I, I was totally almost say. forgot about that. Movie night, guys. If you're in the CSRA and you don't have anything to do on Friday night, or you do have something to do, but it's not really cool, cancel it. That's right, cancel it. Bring the kids. Bring your dog. Come on up to movie night. Gates open at six o'clock. Movie starts at seven thirty. We have food trucks out here. We have the Rec Tech playground sanitized, BYOB, pet friendly. You know, I don't know why you wouldn't. I think we're playing Brave. Yeah, that's right. Ten bucks Friday. a car. Ten bucks a car. Put as many people in that car as you want. It's only going to be 10 bucks. Come on up. Make some memories. 
That's what I'm talking about. Well, Jordan Johnson, you got anything else? I do, actually. I have an announcement to make right here, right now mm -hmm. for all of our RecTech family. Okay. Tuesday tweets on Twitter. Oh, man. Every uh, Tuesday at 4. It's getting a facelift, John. I forgot about Tuesday tweets, That's right, buddy. but it's more important than ever to tune in because mm -hmm. this week we are upgrading to HD. We are. Right? We're we getting already, some microphones. Yeah, we've run a couple test guys. Yeah. Uh, Twitter's doing some new things on their platform, and it's going to be amazing. So definitely tune in 4 o'clock on Rectech's Twitter page on Tuesday. I'll go ahead and spoil it for them. We're going to be making some beer burgers. So you don't want to miss that. Just so y'all know, Jordan Johnson picks the recipes for Tuesday yeah. Tweets. Beer I make the food, he picks beer the recipes. Beer burgers are incredible. So beer burgers for Tuesday Tweets, but tune in. But guys, from everybody here at the Worldwide Headquarters for Rectech, we want to wish you the safest and happiest of weeks. And remember, listen to one another, mm. take care of one another, mm. and never forget, quality of food is quality of life. Amen. We'll see you. At, at the, the rec tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Do, do, do. Rec tech lifestyle. We'll see you tomorrow. Set it and come right here. It. When the sun starts going down. At the rec tech. Live your life the way you like.